guys it's me again a co to my channel hope you guys are well today so i saw somewhere that someone had posted on twitter saying that all these jobs are asking for two to three years of experience well if you don't hire me how am i supposed to get a job and whatnot well i was in the same boat when i graduated from college a couple years ago not that long ago years ago but um yeah some of us graduate with a 4.0 a perfect transcript great references letter of recommendations i mean the best and yet we cannot find a job well i put together 10 reasons why college grads cannot find a job so let's dive right number into number one it. increased competition let's admit it college these days are more affordable parents are pushing us to go to school because if we don't go to school you don't get a degree you're not gonna get a good job that's what they tell us what you don't know is a degree only it's not gonna help you land a job as they say nowadays it's not what you know but who you know number two little to no work experience some graduates make a grave mistake of thinking that a college degree alone will get them by but no they spend their college days partying having a social life having a part-time job that has nothing to do with their major and letting the college days pass them by yeah it's gonna fly by because you're so busy doing all these other things so it's gonna go by so fast and you realize that you have no experience in actually what you went to school for. Number three, no skills. Develop your skills. You know yourself better than I do. You know what you're capable of and what you can and cannot do. Develop what you can't do. Make sure you're good at something in order to contribute something of value to the company. Computer and technology is in high demand now. People with computer skills, software proficiency, companies are needing this kind of skill. So if you know a thing or two about computers, put it in your resume. So you made it through the first stage, which is the first impression of the resume. Now you got the interview. Practice, practice, practice. Research a little bit about a company before you go for your interview. Make sure you know a little bit, just a little bit, just enough to kind of get you past the first question. Because they may or may not ask you what you know about the company. I use Glassdoor to research the company that I'm going to interview for before I go there. Sometimes they post previous interview questions and other information that may be helpful to you. So check it out. Some of the questions they may ask you is, why should we hire you? Tell me a little bit about yourself. What can you bring to the table? What is your greatest weakness? That is a trick question, so be careful on how you answer that. So just be prepared when you go for this interview. When asked if you have any questions, this is your opportunity to ask a question about them. Ask them anything. In fact, write it down before you go for the interview. That way you can open it up and say, yes, I have a question, and then ask it. So yeah, practice, practice, practice. Also, GPA alone is not enough. Companies these days don't really look at that. Most companies require you to have some kind of work experience before they hire you, but how are you going to get work experience if they don't hire you? That's the question, and I used to get so frustrated about that. So you ask yourself, what can I do now? Well, try to get a part-time job that is actually in your field. If you can't find something, intern in a company that you wish to work at. If you can't get that, volunteer your skills or something in the field just to kind of gain that experience and put it on your resume. Use every opportunity that is put before you. Don't pass up menial jobs just because you think the job is beneath you. Swallow your pride and take up that job to not only gain a skill set but also gain experience. If you're bold enough and have a skill set that you think a business can use, present it to them tell them you are intern for free or whatever the case may be put yourself out there even if the job that you volunteer for or intern for or part-time in for is not the job that you really want but it's a company that you want to work at it gets you one foot in the door and once you're in the door you can work yourself on your way up to where you want to be and while you're in there do more than what is required of you that way you gain more experience and you gain exposure and people actually see your work always remember small and humble beginnings can take you to greater heights number seven stand out what sets you apart from all the other candidates that they interviewed already what are some of your best qualities only you know so take some time and think about it and actually write it down so when asked the question what can you bring to the table you just lay it down number eight no follow up so after the interview this is a perfect time to send a thank you note I recommend you do it immediately not like immediately but like a couple of hours after you get home from your interview so after your interview you send the thank you note a week goes by you don't hear anything well it's okay to call them if they don't have anything against that or you can email them to ask them hey what's up I want an update because sometimes they get so many um, applications that they forget or even though they may like you they forget so what you send in that email or giving them that call will kind of remind them a little bit number nine 
don't quit. So two weeks go by, a month goes by, you didn't hear anything back. Not even a story but didn't hire you. Don't give up. Don't quit. Keep searching, keep looking. Sometimes you can ask why they could, didn't hire you, if it's something that they can share with you, that way you can improve on that and be prepared for the next interview. So you can ask that question by emailing them back. Maybe the job just wasn't for you and something better is on its way. God has something better for you. So don't quit. Keep searching, keep looking, hang in there. Number 10, lack of people skills. Skills and knowledge are good, but you need people skills. How well do you deal with people? How do you flow with people? Do you respect other people? Do you communicate well with people? How well do you work with people? Once you leave this interview, people are gonna be looking at you, people are gonna be cross-eyeing you, judging you. Once you leave, the interviewer might ask these people, well, hey, what did you think about this person? And they gossip. They may or may not say nice things. So when you see people in the hallways, greet them don't just be all about you it's like yes I'm going for my interview so greet them show good behavior because you never know who you might pass on the hallway so yeah those are my 10 tips for you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did thumbs up like subscribe share this video with your friends who are graduating from school or college or looking for a job or just anybody just share it thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to y'all later bye